most wanted man in Florida is waking up in a hospital this morning. Police captured Markeith Lloyd Tuesday night in Orlando. The chief says he resisted arrest and he's now being treated for minor injuries before they haul him off to jail. ABC Action News anchor Lindsay Loke has been following developments from Orlando. She joins us live now with uh, details on the arrest and also what is next in this case. Good morning, Lindsay. Dia, good morning to you. And he'd been on the run for nine days since the shooting of Orlando police officer Deborah Clayton and on the run more than a month since police say he shot and killed his pregnant ex-girlfriend. Markeith Lloyd will likely never be a free man again. He had very little to say to reporters who were waiting outside police headquarters last night. What'd you do it? Where have you been hiding? You can hear him there complaining that police beat him up during the arrest. You can see his, his face there was uh, bloodied and it's bandaged <laughs> at some point during uh, all of this. Police along with sheriff's deputies and U.S. Marshals surrounded an abandoned home Tuesday night in southwest Orlando. They've been tracking Lloyd's phone and they were able to zero in on his location through pings. The police chief says when Lloyd walked out of the house, he was wearing tactical gear and these were the guns in his hands which he then dropped to the ground. It's been an intense few weeks in the Orlando area, but this morning fear and frustration have turned to thankfulness, especially for the victim's families. My daughter, she deserved justice. She really does deserve justice, and I'm glad he's caught. I'm glad now I can ask him why, why? Why would you want to do this to our, our family and, and try to kill both of my babies? And to show of respect to the fallen officer, Clayton, her handcuffs were used to secure Lloyd during the arrest. And it's unclear at this hour when Lloyd will be released from the hospital and taken to jail. He faces numerous felony charges, including two counts of murder for the deaths of Officer Clayton and of his ex, Sade Dixon. He also faces charges in the death of Orlando Sheriff's Deputy Norman Lewis. He died, as you may recall, in a crash while assisting during the manhunt. Certainly, Dan and Dia, a story we will be following closely. Of course, count on us for the latest updates as soon as we get them. Back to you.